Hey, it's Zoe here and I am so excited to bring Sexy Beth with you today. We are sharing Coach Jamie's brand new Inner Circle little workout that is designed to work your booty and your back right from home without any equipment. You're absolutely going to love this and if you do, make sure you save this video and then tap the link in my bio or around this video to head on over and claim your free 14 day trial to the Yoga Burn Inner Circle today. We'll see you on the mat. Hey gorgeous, welcome back. It is day two of your Bringing Sexy Back Challenge. I have a full spectrum of goodies waiting on the horizon for you. We're going to um, have just what we had yesterday. You're going to have like that bar stool or start off near your countertop and um, targeting today the outer booty as we stand. Okay. So make sure you're gently warmed up and without further ado, let's hop right into the work. We'll come elbows distance from your counter or bar stop and bring your heels together and your toes apart. Go ahead and rest your forearms down and then walk back, fold your body. So you're in half and then rest your forearms onto your forearm. Make sure your heels are right beneath your hips and your toes are just gently turned up. You don't want an overextension here. Now extend your left leg behind you. Take your leg straight with a point of your toe. Bend through your standing knee, that's your right knee, and then pull those abs up and in away from your mat. We're going to start with a little range of motion here. Think six inches down, six inches up. Go lower, lower, lift, lift. This is controlled movement. Really think about squeezing from the outer bum, okay? So like, it's not the foot that's doing the work here, it is the outer bum that's squeezing to lift the leg, and then the leg will be a controlled lower as it goes down. And as you lift, think about lifting just in line with your hips, okay? Hold the lift here, you have nine size circles. Relax the shoulders down away from the ears. Little squeeze, little squeeze. So the circle is kind of like a metaphor, right? You're getting a circle motion because you're squeezing the muscles so hard it creates an up and around movement. It's like that big toe is tracing a quarter. You'll reverse the circle now. Avoid sitting on that right hip base. Nice and controlled. All right, hold your circle, bend your heel into your booty. Lift that knee up a little higher. Flex your foot, slide the knee forward to the elbow, and then slide the leg back. So you have your arm boxed out a little bit here now. You should really feel this in the outer booty area. Two more, and then a tiny little change, deep challenge to finish it. This one stays forward, point your toe, little list to finish. Option to take your leg straight and point that toe. Ten times here, one, two, three, Four, you got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax it down. You should definitely feel that one in the outer booty. All right, shake it out. Relax your shoulders. Let's go ahead and jump into the right side now. Again, resting the forearms onto the edge of your bar stool or countertop. Rest your forehead onto your forearms. Walk those heels back so they're right beneath the hips. Your body should look kind of like an L right now. Heels are together, your toes are apart. You'll extend the right leg behind you with a straight leg and a point of the toe. The inner thigh on the right side faces the floor. That means your knee should be turned out. Take a bend of that left knee and then scoop those abs up away from your mat, okay? Take it down, down, lift, lift. Nice and controlled, squeezing the outer right booty to do the movement here. Go ahead and box out that right arm. Next one will stay lifted. Make sure your inner thigh is facing the floor. You have a little dime sized circle. Think squeeze, release, squeeze, release. Digging deep here, okay? Reverse your circle. Now I know you got that challenge on the horizon, so really focus in on your best form. Shift the weight to the instep of your left foot so the weight is off of your pinky toe. All right, hold the circle. Draw your heel into your booty. Flex your foot. Slide the knee forward to the elbow. Then slide the heel back to the booty. So your inner thigh is like grazing across an imaginary table, okay? Try to 
to shift weight into that right heel of hand. On your next one, we'll hold that knee close to the elbow. And we'll point through the toe, lift and lift. Option to extend the right leg, stick straight here. That's one, two, three, abs tight for four. You have five, six, here we go, seven, push four, babes, eight. That's nine and ten. Woo! Lovely. Go ahead and step away from your countertop or bar stool. All right, we're gonna come on down to that mat and do a plank, okay? So I want you to come onto your mat. We're gonna do a forearm plank. The planks are so amazing when you're working your back because really all of your muscles are engaged. The amazing thing about a plank is that actually, it's your entire body getting the workout, okay? So think like literally your abs are engaged, your shoulders are engaged, your back muscles are squeezing, your booty is working, the tops of your thighs are working, even like the grip on the arches of your toes are getting that mobility. So like, this is like the best accompaniment to any workout. So, what we're gonna do here is about, let's call it 30 seconds, okay? I'm gonna call it out for us so you don't even need to worry about time. All I want you to do is focus on your goals. Focus on your best form, your intention, and your goals, and that 30 seconds is gonna go nice and quick. All right, come on down to your mat. Coming onto your forearms, palms press into your mat, bring your legs long behind you, shift your weight just gently into those forearms. Abs in, hold it here. Now, we're not just gonna stay here and do nothing. I wanna keep your mind busy. So little bends of the knees here. Little jog it out, little bend, little bend. Pull those abs up and away. Think about your shoulder blades squeezing together here, really working that back, holding yourself up. All right, hold the legs straight, scoop the abs up in one more time. Dig deep. Find your shake zone. All right, that 10 second count is on the horizon. If you're not in it, get in it now. Here we go. 10 seconds on the clock for one, two, best form. Three, four, five, six, squeeze that booty. Seven, eight, nine, there's your 10. All right, you did it. That was your 30 second plank. Woo! Over in a minute, right? Faster than a minute. My little bobby pins are falling out of my hair. That's cool. All right, so next up, okay, we have tabletop. And it's not just any tabletop. This is like the tabletop of all tabletops. Like, I think this is why Zoe and I became friends, tabletop. So, let's get in it. You're gonna come onto your hands and your knees. So your knees should be beneath your hips, okay? Press those palms into your mat. Your heels of hands should be beneath the shoulders. Now. Challenge, flex your toes, pressing your toes into your mat. Squeeze, lift your shins hovering. Take that left heel into your booty. Point through the toe, abs in, knee to chest, two counts. Here we go, in for two, back for two. So think knee pulls into the chest, leg slides back, heel to seat. In, back. Two more now, let's go. Last one. All right, hold it here, bring that left knee down, press your left shin into your mat, little circles here with that left toe. Like you're tracing a quarter, like you're maybe you're pressing a button on the ceiling with each little circle. Go ahead and reverse your circle, keep your hips square to the floor. All right, got a challenge number two on the horizon. Hold your circle, take your legs, stick straight, keep the toe pointed. Bring your left hand behind your head, keep that elbow wide. Bring your knee into elbow for two. Think in for a tap. Out, take it long. Not a lot like this, but it's a little added core work, a little added shoulder movement. So just two more, okay? All right, hold that next one out. It's lift and lift. So think leg lifts and elbow kind of presses up to the sky, pull the shoulder blade squeeze. Pull those abs tight. You got 10 more now. Go one, two, three, four. 
That's your five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that was 10. Woo! So gorge. That is literally like my favorite table. It just, it works everything. Gets the heart rate going, all that jazz. Okay, babes, we're gonna even it out. No lopsided booties here. All right. mental collection. Okay. Bring your hands beneath your shoulders. Bring your knees beneath your hips. Pull those abs up and in. Flex your toes. Press the arches of your toes and feet into your mat. Squeeze. Lift your shins. Hovering. Keep your back flat. That booty should be in line with the shoulders. No higher. Take your right heel in. Point your toe. Knee pulls in for two. Let's go. Go in for two. Then draw it back. Heel goes to booty. Right? So you're like painting Maybe like an arch with your knee, like a rainbow. Now remember, we don't have a lot of these, so really work to get that heart rate up. Two more. Last one. All right, hold it here, draw the left knee down, left arch of foot, or uh, yeah, presses on top of your mat, little circles with that left toe. Maybe shift your weight into your right hand. All right, go ahead and reverse it. All right, hold your circle, take your right leg, stick straight, keep that toe pointed. This time, left hand draws behind your head, keeping your elbow wide. It's knee to elbow for two. Then open it up wide for two. On that extension long, try not to arch your back, okay? Keep it controlled. Two more now. One more like that. All right, hold this one out, elbow wide, leg is long. Go lift and lift. So I think shoulder blades squeeze as you squeeze from the base of your booty. Abs pull away from that mat. Let's go for 10 more. That's one, two, three. Here we go for four, five, six. You have seven. Here's eight, nine, ten. Gorge. Low it, low it. everything <clears throat> is really the stronger your back is the more we can support the core right you really want that beautiful balance and posture so it really is important to work that back okay so without further ado let's come on down to our tummies today you're going to come onto your forearms so you bring your legs your knees are a little wider so think like your toes are at the corner of your yoga burn mat you'll go ahead and clasp those hands together your elbows should be beneath your shoulders but your hands are clasped and your chest is lifted. Your gaze is like at the edge of your mat. Just go past your knuckles or hands. Now, take a flex of your feet and draw your heels together. So your knees are wider than your hips and your heels are together and your toes are apart. Now go ahead and go press and press with your heels. Just really squeezing the lower back right now. All right. We have a little change coming up. Hold the press, come on down to your chest, sweep your arms behind you. It's one circle of the arms, one press your heels up. Go circle, press. So on this circle, rather than a big range of motion, think about squeezing between your shoulder blades. All right, go ahead and reverse your circle, press. Reverse, heels press. Just one more change like this. So really focus in on that lower back and squeeze between the shoulder blades. All right, now go ahead and combine this. Go circle press, circle press. Try to lift that chest up two inches higher. We got 10 more now. Go one, two, that's three. Gentle for four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Relax it down. Catch your breath. Whew. Gorge. All right, carefully roll it on up, swing those beautiful legs in front of you, and come onto your back. We're gonna finish up with a little bit dance party here on your back. All right, ladies. Let's bring those feet hip width today. Your toes will face forward rather than out. So toes face forward. Now, keep your feet flat, press your palms into your mat, relax your shoulder blades down away from your ear, scoop those abs up and in. Squeeze, lift your booty up off that mat now. Put those inner thighs together so 
you're in a knock knee position. So one squeeze on the inner thighs, one hip, press your hips up. Inner thigh squeeze, hips go press. All right, we got a little tiny dance party here to finish up this day two challenge. Have a little fun with it. No need to take yourself so seriously, right? Combine it now. Go squeeze, press up, squeeze, press up. Really squeezing that booty. Hold the squeeze, hold your press. Go tap, lift. Hips go tap, hips press up. All right, this one stays low. Rise it up onto your tippy toes, okay? I want you to press your hips up to finish, then bring your arms straight to the sky. Just go squeeze, press, squeeze, press. You're in high tippy toes, then navel is low to the spine, digging deep. Let's go for 10, two, three. Four, squeezing tighter for five, six, there's your seven, working deeper for eight, nine, there you go, ten, relax it on down, bring those knees into your chest, give yourself a very well-deserved hug. Maybe rock side to side, massaging gently through your spine. <sighs> All right, babies, carefully roll it on up. Hey, that was your day two. You're done with your challenge for day two. Make sure you're staying hydrated, drinking lots of water. Our final day will be tomorrow. We're finishing up working even deeper in the back and the booty area. And until then, I will see you in the inner circle. If you have any questions, always let us know. We're always happy to help you babes out. Um, please accompany this with your favorite Zoe workout because this is really just meant to be an accompaniment. I know you are stronger than you think and you can do more than you imagine. So. Keep that really strong, positive mindset. We'll see you tomorrow on the mat.